Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be working on a Christmas drawing. We're going to start off with making three hills. We're going to start by making a river where both the first and second hill connect. Remember we are working with perspective and you go from small to big. This makes the illusion as if you are closer and then as you look further, it's further away. After you have finished making your river, you're gonna start to make Christmas trees. There's different ways to do them, but this is one way that I'm gonna be doing it. I am working and creating layers and within those layers, I'm gonna have one layer of snow, one layer of green, one layer of snow, one layer of green and so on. I'm gonna do another Christmas tree to the side and this one is gonna be smaller than the first Christmas tree. Then for the last Christmas tree, I decided to do a different kind of Christmas tree. There's different ways you can create them, so that's why I'm showing you various ways. This way I'm just gonna make a triangle, then I'm gonna add a bit of texture within that Christmas tree. Also make sure that you connect or make a log, which is basically the base of the tree. Next you're gonna be creating a snowman. And if you remember, I always love to use materials that are laying around the house. So you can decide to use something to create the circles or you can freehand them. I'm gonna add a scarf to my snowman just because I want him to have more pizzazz. It's up to you if you want to add a scarf or you can just leave it as it is. After the scarf, I'm gonna create dots or buttons that go down my snowman's body. I will move on to create the snowman's hands. It's up to you how many fingers you want on your snowman. I added three on one side and two on the opposite. After that, you're gonna create the snowman's mouth along with his nose, eyes, and top hat. For the next step, you're going to create the trees. These trees are going to be very long trees that go all the way to the top of your paper. Next, you're going to create that shadow. At the bottom, as you can see, I created two lines where I created my tree, and this is just going to make it look like if the sun is hitting it, which is making the shadow appear on the bottom of the tree. The next step for your tree is to create branches. You want to create different sizes and shapes for the branches. I decided to erase those little lines that connected to the tree just because I wanted to envision the tree more. I will be creating two more trees, but it's up to you if you want to add more trees to your design. Don't forget to add the shadow of your tree on the bottom of your paper. For the next step, you'll be creating a sun. It is up to you if you want to leave it as is or if you wanted to add a snowman's face to the sun like I did. I just wanted to add a little bit more. I wanted it to be fun. So I decided to add the snowman's face. After you have created your snowman's face, you're just going to add a bunch of circular snowballs all over. 
You're just gonna add them everywhere in different spots throughout your paper. Now at the bottom, this is optional. Anything from this point on is optional. I just wanted to show you guys that you can do a whole lot more and it's up to you to use your imagination. I decided to create some footsteps right here, but again, this is only if you want to. This is an optional step. I just want you guys to add more if you feel like it. Remember, this is your design, this is your creation, and I'm just giving you guys an example. Again, this is another optional step. I decided to add a little cabin. Remember, you do not have to do this. It is up to you if you want to, but I just wanted to show you guys that you can do more if you wanted to do more. I decided to erase that optional step just because I liked how my paper or my design looked before I added that. So remember, it's up to you. If you do want to add those things to your paper, you can add them in different spots. It is totally up to now you. Now that we have finished designing our paper, we're going to start coloring it in with our colored pencils. As you can see, or as I mentioned earlier, I decided to do one layer of snow, then one layer of the tree, and then one layer of the snow. For this part, it's just better to watch, watch the whole thing. If you decide to just do the whole tree green, that's fine, it's up to you. Or if you decide to add the snow, also that is up to you. I decided to use dark green for my Christmas tree. And right now I'm just coloring it lightly, but later on I'm gonna go in and color that part of the tree dark, dark green. Eventually, I will outline it with black. So this is how the Christmas tree looks like after coloring it in dark green and adding the black outline with the colored pencil. You're going to repeat the process for the rest of the trees. Now you're gonna outline everything on the hill and the trees with your black colored pencil. Go ahead and watch before you do, just so that you're able to see what I am gonna be doing. Another helpful tip is to go back and erase any of the pencil marks, but you kind of wanna wait a little bit before you go back to erase because sometimes and for some reason it's really weird but the color pencil kind of is a little wet so you want to make sure it sets correctly before you decide to erase it after you've outlined the bottom you're going to want to go back and outline all your trees and you're going to color in those trees with your black colored pencil it's also optional if you want to color in your tree brown you can do that now that all your trees are colored in, we're going to start to work on the background, the sky. I'm using a pink colored pencil and I'm going to color it in gently and avoid coloring in the snowballs. It's okay if you do get some pink in the snowballs because we're not perfect. but. It is up to you to try your best to avoid getting any pink in those snowballs. After coloring in your sky, you're going to go back and use that light blue to outline the snowballs. Eventually, you're going to go in with light blue, pink, and purple to make swirly lines as if you know, the wind is blowing, the breeze is blowing, 
because in the winter it's cold. After your swirls are finished, you're going to color in your sun. I decided to leave mine white like a snowman, color in the eyeballs, the buttons, and the nose with orange. Moving on to our snowman that is on our snow, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to outline it. You're going to color in the buttons, color in the nose, the hat, the line that's within your hat, the arms, and your scarf. It is up to you to choose what color you want to do your scarf and what color you want to do your hat. Moving on to the lower half, I'm going to color in the river with light blue. And then I'm going to go over it with dark blue and purple. I wanted to create some texture on the snow just so that you can tell that it's snow and now we can separate it from the top and the bottom. So I decided to use my black colored pencil and I decided to add some shadows to my snowman and my Christmas tree. For the shadows of my trees, I used blue and I'll be using the color black next to go over it. I am very excited to see your guys' own creations and how you put your own twists to this piece. Don't forget to send us the pictures.